feel me? And then he's out of the friend zone. You never really wanted him to be in the friend zone in the first place. You feel me? Mm -hmm. I feel yeah. like I want okay, you to keep him there wait, wait. on the back end. Well, just in let's, case. Let's, wait, 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 how about this? Let's wait, let her finish. Wait, wait. And then let let's let her yeah, finish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that's you guys understand that, Bianca. Okay, because I'd have been let, in a situation. I'd have been in a situation where, like, it was a guy that I was dealing with. You feel me? And at the moment in time, like, he was my friend. And I was kind of fucking with him being my friend. But then, like, over time, you start to develop feelings. And then it becomes what it is. You feel me? So it's like. I feel you. Okay. Um, Destiny, do you have something? Yeah. Yeah, and then, and then act, I know you got something too. I know all my all my guy friends always wanted to fuck. I just kept them on the back burner until like I felt like I was done with them type thing. Because like, because uh -huh. like at the end of the day, they all want done it. With them, how? They all want it. Mm -hmm. Done with them. Like, like if you're not fucking them, like how? Like what are you? What so are you doing? We with them? just like fell off. So like because like they were my friend for a certain amount of time because they mm -hmm. didn't get the pussy. Like basically, what was I supposed to do? I, I let them fall off. Like right. we don't. We just don't talk anymore. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. but I'm, I'm still trying to see like that guy is not your friend. So he's hoping that. What he's gonna get out of this is him fucking right. You're right. You're now, right. So I'm, I'm, saying I'm my asking friend, what y'all get because a lot of time women women use those niggas for like you know what I mean those niggas is gonna give them reassurance yeah. like exactly. it's basically you but know that there's a nigga who's that's a, why I said they're okay. gonna be on the back burner mm -hmm. so they're there for you whenever your man fucks mm -hmm. up or right. what, if something happens Which they're like insane. oh my god I got your back oh I'm like, here man. like whole time they just want to fuck so emotional support emotional exactly. support exactly yeah. but then yeah. but then they're there for you when the breakup happens mm -hmm. and if the fuck doesn't happen they're out they're out they're not and that's why they're on the back burner mm -hmm. but then for for a man's standpoint it's like unacceptable because once he knows he's on the back burner he's out he's, he's out yeah yeah because yeah. definitely niggas will like see fair. that they're on the back it's burner yeah, like all right well, so i'm gonna fuck with this bitch because she's not gonna let me fuck so i'm okay, out of here i feel so, like it's a little bit of both for both male and female but that's what i was saying but that's what i'm saying this motherfucker needs a trophy you you be spitting right oh that's you Ashanti, that's your name. Yeah, yeah, you be fucking spitting, dog. Anyway. Yeah, it's 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 um, and I want to say too, cause like what what Destiny's describing is like it's a it's a dance, right, between mm -hmm. the two genders. Like mm -hmm. the girl is keeping him on the back burner for as long as she can extract some kind of value. Let's mm -hmm. say the dude's a mechanic. Right. Oh, he helps me fix my car. I kind of just tease the fact that he potentially I mean, might be able to get with me, right? I'm just yeah, using that yeah. example. Or he provides some kind of friendly benefit to me, and then he makes the, he takes a shot, fails, and then at that point now you're now he's got to make a decision. Yo, this shit ain't fuck with me. I've already invested time or whatever. What's, what's he going to do? He's either going to continue to simp or he's going to cut his losses and stop fuck with her. Right. And then at that point, the girl's like, okay, well, it is what it is. I got what I needed out of it. And I walk away. And I would argue that women win this this battle, this dance mm -hmm. most of the time. Because girls are able to finesse guys most of the time. Of but, course. But it's contingent a lot of times on guys not understanding their value and what, mm -hmm. what they bring to I that girl. I feel like men don't really understand their value. They don't. Niggas, me and my, I had a friend that I was speaking with earlier, Jasmine, and she was, we was literally talking about like, niggas don't understand their value. Like, you could be fucking with a girl and she's sure. not going to let you hit at all. You feel me? Like, you talking to her, you doing whatever you doing. And she's just like, nah, like, I'm not ready to hit. If you was to hit a nigga up today and be like, I want to fuck, he's going to be like, yeah, off backs. Like, niggas don't value themselves, and that's that's embarrassing. You feel me? Y'all make it not so Not every easy. nigga. Not every nigga. Yeah. I mean, I'm going to give you that's like... True though, but it's very but, true. But that's you, very you true. feel me? Like, yeah, niggas yeah, don't value mean, themselves. If yeah. a girl was to... If there was a girl that she was like, you thought was probably cute, yeah. and she was to text you right now and be like, do you want to fuck? What are you going to tell her? Yeah. Of course, we don't exactly. We, we, but if it problem. was the other way around and there was a girl who probably thought she was fine and you was to ask her to fuck, what do you think she's gonna say? She's gonna say yes or no? She's gonna play the game. Yeah, she's gonna she's, play the she's game. She's gonna play the game. Exactly. It's gonna be so. The, and and that I'm really glad that we're hearing this from a woman. Yeah, like, uh, yeah, this is very important for the guys out there to understand. Niggas that, are too easy. Like, like men don't understand that. Like, you if you know what you're doing, you actually have the leverage with the women because the problem is that guys give away their. We talk we talk about it with meat, right? It's called meat. Yeah. Uh, your money energy, attention, and time, time. right? Shout out yeah. to our guy, Coach Greg Adams. We talked about this. They give it away for free to girls mm -hmm. and they don't get anything back. They don't. No kind of affection, whatever. And they do this for weeks, months, sometimes even years until they realize, damn, I'm just being used. Mm -hmm. And if guys understood their value, girls wouldn't be able to do what they're doing. Exactly. But most men don't. They, don't. they think it's okay and it's socially acceptable to be put in the friend zone. But on the other end, if a guy puts a girl in the sex zone only, I've even argued this, even the dumbest of women are going to eventually realize, all right, I'm wasting my time here. This dude don't really want me like that. I'm going to start to cut my losses. Mm -hmm. And she'll start to look for someone else, else. Mm -hmm. that might be able to provide that relationship that she's looking for. She'll still fuck with that guy. Don't get, don't get it twisted. But the difference between men and women is women don't cut their losses until they know that they have something secure in place. So they'll have one guy hooked at some point, and then they already have the hand on the other guy. It's like, all right, this dude's not providing me utility anymore. Mm -hmm. This guy's a better bet. Now it's time to swing. And I'm not go even to gonna lie. Guy. That's very true. I feel like a lot of like 
like not to like go against women because I'm a woman myself. Right, keep it real, man. Just but like going. at the end of the day, like I feel like there are some girls, like, I'm not gonna say all women, but there are some girls who will sit there and they'll be with a guy and then they probably may not be feeling the guy that much, but they're not gonna leave that guy until they find them another nigga to like, you know, one up. You feel me? So then it's like after I'm done being in a relationship with you. You're going to see me with the next nigga. The next nigga going to be up there. You feel me? And now the niggas sitting up here, like, you know, niggas, they like to, when you first break up with them, they like to act like, oh, I'm stressing that bitch. Da, 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 da. Oh, they they, they be later, a pain. Yeah, a couple months later, that's when they back in your phone, but you already done hopped well, on well, you let, nigga let me, that you had on the side. So this is a great point that you just made, and let me give the other side of that on the male side, because uh-huh. girls might not notice. So women tend to think that dating is as easy for men as it is for them, but it's actually a lot harder mm-hmm. for men. So, and this is statistically proven that women actually get over breakups far easier than men do. This is why they initiate it overwhelmingly. They initiate the divorce, initiate the breakups. So when you break up with a guy, he might at the beginning be like, oh, I don't care, blah, blah, blah. It is what it is. But he's not going to be able to replace you as fast as you're going to be able to replace him most of the time. Most, yeah, yeah, For yeah, most guys, they're not going to be able to replace it. There is that top five, 10% that you ain't going to be able to, he's going to be able to replace you faster than you'll be able to yeah, replace yeah. him. But in the majority of circumstances, like said, that women hold more value than most guys. That's exactly. what that's just the uncomfortable reality, mm-hmm. right? So, um, so when you go and get with that other guy, the reason why he hits you back up is nine out of ten times is his prospects are dry, mm-hmm. and, and or he ain't find nobody as as good as you. So now he gonna come back to what he had. And this is why a lot of guys come, or they just get horny and they're like, "Oh, I've smashed it before. Maybe she'll let me yeah, hit." Yeah, yeah. So, because uh, we all know, you know, familiar dick is familiar dick, right? Girls don't want to get their body count up a lot of the time, so yeah, they'll, they'll I, go off that. Yeah, yeah. But I get you that too. But but yeah, girls are a lot more intelligent, in other words, mm-hmm. when when they you know switch partners exactly. than guys are. Guys will break up sometimes. Uh, well, rarely do they break up, but sometimes they'll break up without having something set up, mm-hmm. or they'll get left on the dust. The girls already been planning on breaking up with him for months, and his dumbass don't even see it at coming. At the end of the day. A woman, she leaves the relationship with her mind before yeah. she leaves the relationship with, with her, her body, body yeah. at the end of the day. So you could be dating a girl and y'all thinking that it's all sweet and it's all dandy and it's everything's all good. The whole time she been she's out of the relationship. She's she been <laughs> peeping shit that you've been doing and been not fucking with shit that you've been doing to the point where she's like, man, I'm done with this nigga. You feel me? But I it's going to take a lot for her to finally like really leave the relationship. Especially if it provides I some kind of utility. Like if she lives <laughs> with him, he makes money, he buys her shit. She'll string it along a little bit longer. As long as she can. Yeah. Shit. And at the end of the day, I'm not, no, not to be offensive, niggas are dumb. You feel me? I feel you. <laughs> like, not to be offensive, I feel you. niggas are dumb. <laughs> no, and they're going to they're, they're gonna continue to let that shit happen until the girl leaves them. You feel me? And now you sitting there, you done got left. Your dumb done already got a new nigga and you sitting here hurt. Wait, yeah. Now wait. you trying to go out to the club, trying to whoop the whoop in the club and <laughs> you ain't. You feel me? Right. Right. You're sitting, so you're sitting here telling me right now. You're sitting here telling me right now that a dude in a relationship with a female, if the you're you're telling me right now that mm-hmm. no. You got this, girl. Come on. You know you know you know you, you know on, what you're girl. trying to you say. 18, you go. know what you're trying to say. You know what you're wow. trying to say. You got it. You just... okay, okay, like you're okay. You're Reality saying you're game. saying dudes are dumb, right? Okay, I'm hearing you, but mm-hmm. I can't I can't fully agree with you. Okay, I can't I can't fully and agree. I, give you that. Say, I can't fully agree opinion. and say dudes are dumb. So, like, okay. So, Here's the thing: when she's saying they're dumb, I'm not, I'm, she's not saying they're literally low IQ. No, 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 no. no what she's saying that. is that they don't have the social awareness yeah. to yeah. understand their value that they're bringing to the relationship with the woman. And they give it away for free. Exactly so you, how I said when so, niggas, when I said niggas is easy. Yeah, niggas is easy. Let, let me reverse it so she understands it. Yeah. Let's say you right were like you were hanging out with these dudes right these these potential sugar daddies and you they will call you only at two a.m. to fuck and then they tell you all right yo you gotta leave they don't want to listen to you they don't want to talk to you nothing they're not paying for nothing there's fucking you at two a.m. all right uh see you later bye and then you leave you will feel some type of way about that right you feel used yeah you would probably since you're a woman and you're more intelligent about your value than a guy is you're gonna be like i'm cutting this shit off i'm not gonna let this nigga continue to do this correct right. mm-hmm. what she's saying is that men will be the equivalent to you sitting there continuing to get fucked and not get anything in return a lot of guys do that by giving away their time their attention taking the girl on date even though the girl has no intention of fucking him just like you you're fucking this guy hoping he's gonna give you a relationship but he doesn't does that make sense now Okay, yeah, I'm that's that, that's the equivalent so that you can yeah. understand where she's coming from. Like, dudes are stupid about their own value that they bring to mm-hmm. the women. Like, niggas don't value themselves as much. The same way how we hold ourselves as pedestals, as queens, you feel me? A girl is always like, yeah, I'm a queen, I'm this, I'm that, I'm that. Mm-hmm. I feel like guys should hold themselves on the same pedestal too. Like, we're queens, y'all are kings, you feel me? So y'all should value ourselves as much as 
we value yeah, ourselves. Yeah. You feel me? At the end of the but, day, let's, let's tap in. Little, let's tap into how why, how men why, actually um, do uh, carry themselves. I'm gonna go. Or you wanna go? Good. No, go ahead. Okay, so we got a lot of men in this day and age that scam. So mm-hmm. that money come easy. It's like, oh, let me go buy you a Louis bag. Let me mm-hmm. go buy you some Prada shoes. That ain't nothing to me because it ain't my bread. I'm throwing it at you. So you gonna fall at the end of the day. So at the end of the day, they looking at you like you the goop. Mm-hmm. So it's like, oh, you failed for that. Like, I mm-hmm. just threw a band at you. You're going to fall. She's going to fold. She's mm-hmm. going to do whatever she want to do. I'm going to take it to the street. Yeah. And I get but that. But it's like, for us, we got to, it's a, it's a, it's a value thing. Like mm-hmm. you said, women appreciate their own value. And not to say that some men don't, but it's just in this day and age, it's like, oh, that bread going to get a girl. Yeah, the so bread. She going to chase a bag. Mm-hmm. She want that bread, that head, and she going to leave. Exactly. You know I mean? That's what all I want. And so they playing the game. With the game that you think you playing, mm-hmm. they running that game. But I feel you like playing that game at the end of the day. Not really, no. I disagree with you because because way more women finesse men than men finesse exactly. women. That is so true. Way and more. I, go and that I feel like as true. a guy, bro, if I'm Girl, a nigga and I'm sit- if I'm a guy and I'm sitting here and I'm making bread, if I'm scamming and it's not my money. What the fuck do I look like putting okay. that into a bitch that don't give a fuck about me but, when I could put that shit into myself? But what kind of a guy are you? What kind of a guy are you? Are you six foot? Are you, are you, you got like, full, Who like, cares? Like, no, it does thing, matter. Who cares who I am? Because at the end of the day, like, you feel me? Like, Love. shit, I ain't, I ain't got, I ain't got my titties and I ain't got my ass done, but I still value myself as much as the girls that do. You feel me? And I feel like as a guy, shit, if I'm over here and I'm scamming and I'm making that bread, I'd rather invest that bread into myself then invest that into somebody who don't give a fuck about me. Guys don't think exactly. like that. And that's the problem. <laughs> Niggas don't value themselves. But right. both, both are valid. Like, they should value themselves, but they don't. But they, they trick don't. off on exactly. chicks, right? They trick off on chicks. I'm going to give her money just to hang out with me. Because let's be honest here, man. Sex is just a, if you were to look at it like bare bones, it's an equal value exchange. It's a handshake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what girls do, which is intelligent, by the way, they treat it like a value-loaded exchange. Hey, even though I know we're both giving each other something, I need something in it. As well, Either, yeah. I need dates, I need time, I need attention, whatever it is. Or in some cases, you're able to get all that without even fucking, which mm-hmm. you're winning the game right now. But most guys, all we're saying is that they're not aware of their own value and exactly. they just give it away. It would be the equivalent to a girl smash a dude at 2 a.m. He kicks her every time, but she thinks she, he's going to marry her. Mm-hmm. It's not going to happen. Mm-hmm. You know, um, hey, did you have something I saw that you were trying to? Nah, man, that was 20 minutes. I don't know what y'all talking about now, man. Just... <laughs> yeah, I, I am, uh, All right, we're, we're basically talking about how essentially the conversation was, you know. Like, I looked at I looked at first. We don't understand the value. And, and our minds is connected. <laughs> 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 All right. Um, okay. did, did, did we have a video to react to or something? Uh, no, we, we passed the video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, okay, so where are we at, Chris? Kumasan. All right, if you guys want to throw in some questions real quick, uh, we got y'all. All right, Kumasan, this is for the Build the Plank Fund, okay? Uh, the tax collector, call 